All right, everyone, welcome to Kingdom Death Monster Phoenix Assembly Part 2. Uh, we're going to start off with the face first. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you get all the uh, pieces to the face, the, the bottom jaw, the top uh, beak, and the face and the two sides. Um, basically, the two sides are going to have um, two eyeballs uh, on, on each of them. And uh, you're going to want to glue um, with the, the eyes facing outwards onto the face itself. Uh, obviously the nose, you know, is towards the top and everything. Uh, when you finally get it together, you'll have um, an indentation if you look at the body um, that the face will actually slide into there. Um, and here I'm scraping off, I'm just scraping off some extra glue that I had on because I'm, I'm dipping it into the glue. Uh, basically you just attach it like that. Um, and make sure that the top of the face is flush with the left side. Uh, because when the top beak goes on, you'll see here in just a second, um, it'll go ahead and it'll uh, be flush with that. Give it a close up. And you're going to grab the top beak, which is the, sh the shorter of the two. I'm going to dip it in some glue and go ahead and you just place it right on top over the crown of his head, right in the, the spot that you created. And, uh, it should just sit in there fairly well, especially if you got enough, um, a little bit of excess glue. Now you'll see that I try attaching, um, <laughs> I try attaching the bottom beak to the face. It actually does not attach to the face, and um, basically I'm showing you here what not to do. Uh, I'll continue for a little while until I realize that hey, uh, this actually goes on the bottom portion of the body. Um, Eventually, I'll grab the body and realize that I am an idiot, and it was supposed to go on there. But I'll show you uh, the the main face will slide into there, and then the bottom, uh, like I said, will, is supposed to connect to the body itself. And it sort of glues in there for a few seconds, but because I'm painting it and I want to paint the jaw um, jaws and the face a different color, I go ahead and take it off. And now we're going to go into the painting of the face and the, the bottom jaw. I apologize for the lighting here. My lighting table, I need a better lighting. Um, this is the bottom jaw itself. Uh, I apparently need to change my lighting up. Um, basically, the paint that I'm using is Averlin Sunset. And... Uh, just Abaddon Black, Abaddon Black, as they, they say. And um, I've mixed uh, probably about three parts Abaddon, Abaddon, I keep wanting to say Abaddon, uh, and Averland Sunset. And what it did was it created kind of a, a greenish hue, and eventually you'll, you'll see it. Um, and so what I do is I end up uh, base coating the bottom jaw uh, with the uh, Abaddon black Averland Sunset mix that, that turned out more greenish. And then I end up adding some more um, Averland Sunset in order to, to bring back the yellow. Um, and you'll see here in a few minutes, uh, once I finish uh, with this, uh, you can kind of see the greenish hue that I was going for. Uh, kind of looks like baby poop green, if you will. Um, so basically that, that gets finished up and what I'll do is I'll make sure to get inside the mouth and everything because I want that uh, those part portions the darkest. And uh, now I'm adding off camera, unfortunately, I'm adding more Averland uh, to the mix to give it uh, more of a yellowish uh, greenish tint. And now I'll go ahead and even with more Averland and see, you can see there I'm bringing it out. But the shadows will remain the same. Uh, they'll remain that darker green, like baby puke look color. Um, and it'll give you a nice, if, if you end up brushing it, um, brushing it in uh, lightly, you'll go ahead and you'll keep your shadows uh, with the dark green. Um, and then your highlights will be that, the, the like the beakish yellow color of a bird. And that's pretty much what I was going for there. Um, I ended up losing the video of me painting the top of the face, uh, well, the face itself and the, the uh, 
top beak, but I used the same techniques on the top beak with the Averlin Sunset Abad uh, in Black, um, where it was the green, and then I overlaid that with some more Averlin um, Sunset uh, with just a little bit of Uriel Yellow um, to give it more, uh, because that's on top and that's going to catch more light, um, I made it a more of a lighter yellow. And then the face, what I did was I ended up using um, Army Painter uh, Flesh, and I used Recklinge uh, Flesh Shade um, from Citadel, uh, or you could use the red, the red, um, red shade from Army Painter uh, to give it uh, some highlights, or um, not highlights, but uh, shadows uh, in more of a tanned look. Uh, later on, I'll go back, even uh, when I've attached it to the body, um, I can go in and highlight it. What I actually don't show here, and I'm, I'm going to be showing later on, is there is another piece to the bottom beak um, that hasn't been attached yet. Uh, basically, it's the beard. If you look at the picture of the uh, phoenix that's online, um, he's got like a, a long beard. It looks like it's supposed to be a tongue, which goes into his mouth. Um, but those pieces are actually uh, the string-looking intestines that are on the sprues. Um, and I'll go ahead and show how to connect those as well. Basically, it'll be um, two pieces uh, later on in the video. And those go right into the uh, one piece will go into the mouth. The other will go on top of that one. Um, sorry for getting out of, out of camera here. Uh, I bring it back down so you guys can see the colors uh, a little bit. what I'm doing is I'm trying to get highlighted up enough to where um, it has that like gross yellowish looking color and you can see I was re I, I was doing a little bit more um, on the top beak but you can see it there uh, how I have it set up And that's pretty much it for that. What's going to happen now is we're going to go into the hands and the mouth. Uh, the probably the the one portion that everybody's been looking forward to is the hands. All right, folks, so in the interest of just speeding things along, I've went ahead and um, installed all the hands already. Uh, you can see they're all here in nice fancy pink, um, pretty much uh, standard super glue action. Uh, a few of them are probably going to fall on me later because they're mad at me. Um, but I, um, and as you can see, I kind of snapped off my wing. It almost fell on the ground and I had to catch it. And I, of course, I caught it by the wing and it snapped out of the part here. Uh, but I'll be able to glue that in. I've already set it back in before just to make sure it fit. Uh, see, I just had to add some glue and I'll be good. See, I can actually leave it like this if I wanted to. Um, but in order for it to t uh, show you guys, um, so number one, this will be your first one. Um, number two, will be right here. Uh, on the back here we have number three and then four and then we will flip this back around um, but actually we're going to switch uh, switch it up. Um, we're gonna go up here now to number five. Well no actually I'm sorry five is right here. This is five. Um, it, it's a weird uh, just pointed piece. Uh, basically, you can angle it, I guess, any way you want. Um, there's really just a dot for a hole sitting there. Um, number six is right here, and then seven uh, will be right here. Um, as you can see, sorry. Uh, and then we will go to number eight, which actually is on the other wing. I don't know why they decided to number it like this. I'm trying to get the camera to not be all jacked up. All right, so number eight is actually this hole right here. Um, you'll see this ridge here, and there's there's three holes all together. Um, it's this one right here. Um, number nine 
thankfully is on the same one. It's a circle peg. Uh, it's right here. Um, number 10 uh, is a funky looking one, uh, but it sits right here. So that's not bad. And then this, these two, um, so this is number 11. All right. Uh, and that one sits and fits there just fine. There is a gap right here, um, right next to 24. Uh, and it's just, I, I was hard pressed to figure out um, if they were supposed to look like that or if there was another piece that sat in there. And there is not. Um, it is actually supposed to have that little, uh, I guess, where the feathers meet kind of gap. Um, and that's fine. Uh, you know, they can do what they want with that. Um, now, right here, um, I actually messed up. Um, I put uh, number 12 right here um, and ended up snapping it off when I tried to remove it. So what I did was um, number 12 is supposed to go right here. Uh, and this is actually number 23. Um, but they were pretty, pretty easily interchanged. Um, as you can see, it, it, it doesn't really detract from the way it looks. Uh, you can see that's 12 in 23 spot and 23 and 12 spot because I'm pretty slow. Um, so we're going to move on to 13, um, which actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and flip this around. Um, all right, so 13 is actually right here, uh, and I put that on correctly. Um, and then we need 14, which, uh, hold on just a second. 14, what did I do with you? Um, 15 is right here. Uh, it's another funky piece with the feathers. Uh, and then we have 16 right next to it. And then, of course, we have to... Um, that's weird. All right. We are on 17. Uh, we are... 17 was placed right here. Um, and then we'll go to 18, which is up... Here. Should be... Uh, let's see. Where did I put 18? This is 18, and then we have 19 right here. Uh, so um, now we'll go to 20, which of course is no. And now we'll do 20, which is right here, because it is the only place it will fit. Um, if you're able to get it to fit somewhere else, I applaud you. Um, and I wonder what your miniature will look like. Um, 21 goes right next to number two, uh, right there. Come on, there we go, focus. Uh, and then, uh, or 21, sorry, 21 goes here. Uh, we just did 20, 21, I can count. Um, and then I placed 22 right here. And it doesn't really fit, and there is no other spot for it. I mean, I can push it in a little bit more, but it just looks really awkward. And I'm probably going to fix it with some uh, liquid green stuff. Uh, that was 22. Um, 23 is, like I said, supposed to be down here. And you can see tw 12 hanging off because the glue is all sad at me because um, I messed it up. All right, 24 uh, is right here. Um, it's that curved piece. Remember, I, was, I had talked about the gap uh, that's going to sit there. I, I don't know why. Uh, it's it's made like that, but um, it's it's definitely supposed to be there. There was no extra pieces or anything that any uh, that I was missing. Um, so 25 is right here. Um, we went to 24, 25, 26 will sit right right here. Uh, it's just kind of a weird fat chubby cherub hand, I guess. 27 right here. Um, it's supposed to be sitting in there, but I don't remember using 27 there. I'm pretty sure I used a different one. Uh, I can't remember what number I put there, but it definitely wasn't 27. Um, and it fit just perfectly. Uh, you can see, you know, it looks just fine. That's kind of dark. See, it fits there, and there's no, like, excess anything. Uh, obviously, you can see the glue, but I can fix that, no problem. Uh, 27, and now 28, which would be on this side. Uh, will be 28 right here, do, 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 28, and then 29, and then 30. 
is back over on this side because it's a weird one. Thankfully, it was really easy. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's the build for that. Uh, there are a few more pieces um, to go. Uh, I did say that I was going to show off the uh, the mouth um, piece. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to get both pieces of the intestines. Um, uh, I would suggest gluing them after you insert it. So basically uh, you're going to get your peg. Uh, it's going to face down. You can see he faces it faces down. Um, and then you'll glue this piece right there and they'll both, they'll both sit like that, uh, you know, down. Uh, I wouldn't suggest, I mean, you could, uh, potentially glue them together and then this way when you press it into his face, you have, uh, you know, that, that little bit of extra, um, I guess oomph when you're, when you're squeezing it together, uh, to keep these together and into his mouth. Now, um, also, you have the beard. Uh, this is actually glued on right now. There's no peg. Um, it goes onto the bottom, and um, it goes on like that. Uh, and you can see pretty much uh, a little better the, the color scheme that I had going on for the beak at the bottom. Like I said, it was a darker, and then the top was a lighter. Um, so when you install that, um, he'll sit like this. And then... The jaw will go in like that, and um, I've got to uh, paint this uh, a pinkish thing. You can see his face is pretty well painted as well. Um, now there are two other pieces. Um, we're going to glue this one. Uh, we'll put some glue on here. Uh, these are extra finger pieces. Come on, glue, glue, glue. Uh, extra fingers, I guess, um, instead of talons that he has. Um, this one will go on the left wing, oh, oh, down here on the camera, uh, just like that. So that one sits there, and that's good. And then obviously the other one, uh, which is the flat, uh, the short stubby base will go on the right wing. Um, Depending on how you're looking at it, if you're face, if he's facing you, it's his right wing. If you're, uh, you know, going from behind him, uh, it's his left wing. Um, so that one sits like that. Uh, basically, it's going to look like that uh, when I'm finished. You can kind of see the, the finger, and then you know I'm going to have to paint here as well. Um, but as you can see on the other side, I've already started on the wings, painting the fingers. Um, and then I'll change the fingernails to, uh, basically give it like a, like a smoker's, uh, fingernail, uh, like, you know, the yellowish kind of keratin hard, you know, nasty looking brown, uh, thing with maybe probably some blood from, uh, blood of the blood god. Uh, that pretty much, uh, covers putting together the, the hands and what I'm going to basically do, you know, in terms of paint with the, uh, the finger, uh, basically his talons, uh, quote unquote, but they're, they're more finger like, uh, cause if you look at them, they, they pretty much all have like a finger print and everything. And then, uh, I'm also going to do some more shading. Oh, well, that's awesome. Some more shading on the, uh, on the wings themselves. Um, probably some Reclin flesh shade, uh, on, on some parts, uh, but also, I may end up just re-airbrushing now that I've gotten all the hands in. Uh, even though I've wanted to paint the hands ahead of time, um, I feel like it may be beneficial because uh, they're not they're not that bad at, at now that I have them installed uh, to to repaint basically while um, they're inside the the miniature. Uh, I I can definitely get into all the cracks and crevices that they have here. Um, especially on both sides. I mean, it's not too horrible. Uh, and I mean, this one, you can already see, you know, it's coming together uh, in terms of what it looks like. I'll go ahead and zoom out there a little bit. I mean, it looks kind of decent with the, with the talons and the hands all painted already. Uh, but that pretty much uh, ends up for this video. Uh, the next tutorial 
uh, I guess tutorial is going to be um, um, highlighting and shading the the body some more and then working on the base which I have lost right now I believe it's in my other room um, and then eventually we'll get to uh, the butcher uh, I still have to paint him um, but I've already um, I've already assembled him uh, for a friend and here's his base uh, you can kind of see that you know he's got some intestines laying around there um, and, and, you know there's some already killed survivors uh, so that'll be another one another tutorial and then the next build tutorial will be the watcher um, so I hope everybody checks that one out thank you for watching and have a good day